channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial recreating the look that Kendall Jenner wore to the 2016 Met Ball. It's a really classic feminine look that is going to be perfect for wherever and whenever you guys want. It's a really great emphasis on skin and a nice classic eye. So if you guys want to see exactly how I recreated this look, then please keep watching. I'm gonna start off by prepping the skin with a serum. This one is from Biotherm. I'm using this because it has a brightening and tightening effect on the skin, and skin was the huge emphasis of Kendall's look. And then I'm going to apply a moisturizing cream. This one is by Tatcha. It is the Tatcha Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. And then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, and I'm gonna put this all over my face as well. I'm using Shu Uemura Light Bulb Foundation. Just gonna do a pump of this and blend it all over my face. And in case you guys were wondering, I'm in the shade 754 Medium Beige and I'm using an IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe foundation brush to blend this out. I'm gonna take the lightest shade out of the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita Quad and I'm gonna pop that all the way from the lid up to the brow bone because Kendall had a really soft champagne washed all over her lids. I'm gonna take this shadow right here on the same brush. I used the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe shadow brush and I'm gonna work this all throughout the crease because Kendall had a brown bronze shade going throughout her crease. This is by Revlon. It's the Revlon Color Stay Pencil in Topaz. And you're gonna draw yourself a wing. It doesn't have to be really dark or anything like that. You just wanna lay yourself down the groundwork to where you're gonna set the shadow on top. Now we're gonna set this uh, pencil with this dark bronze shade from the quad. And then we're gonna go back in with this shadow right here and we're gonna smudge that on the lower lash line. I'm just using the same brush we've been using. But. For concealer, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the shade 2.5. I just like to use my fingers with this stuff. I think it works the best because um, it's really creamy and the finger, your fingers help uh, melt the product, so. I'm gonna apply just a touch of powder on the face. I'm using Bare Minerals, just a little bit. You wanna keep everything looking really natural and dewy, so you don't wanna use too much, but just a little bit to keep everything in place and from creasing. I'm gonna contour with the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, so I'm going to take this Sculpt shade on a Zoeva 127, and I'm gonna go right under the cheekbones. I'm gonna do the temples sides of my nose and chin. And then to bronze the skin and warm it up, give it a nice lively glow, I'm going to use some bronzer from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced 16 Hour Summer Wear Bronzer. And I'm picking it up on an IT Cosmetics Bob Wand Ball Powder Brush. And I'm just gonna knock this all over the face. You just want to lightly apply it where the sun hits the skin. And I always like to do the tops of the cheekbones just for that really beautiful sun-kissed look and the chin as well. Kendall had a really beautiful, natural looking flush. It wasn't too pink or orange. So I'm gonna go use my go-to blush for that type of look. This is Exposed by Tarte. It's a great everyday blush that I think would flatter pretty much any skin tone. So I'm gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. And then to highlight the face, we're gonna use the highlight shade of the Sculpt and Glow Kit. So I'm gonna take this right in the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. Kendall's cheekbone highlight was so insane. It was so gorgeous and reflective. So what I'm gonna do is just layer on a little bit more highlight right on this part of the cheekbone. You don't wanna over highlight that area too much cause then it can look a little bit ashy. So you just wanna slowly apply more and more highlighter. You feel like you've got your highlight looking really nice and reflective like hers. We can do the rest of the face like the Cupid's bow, the chin, and we can also put some on the center, I mean on the tear duct because she had a really beautiful tear duct highlight as well. I tight lined my eyes. I used the IT Cosmetics Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. And then you are going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of liquid liner. I'm using this one from NYX. It's the NYX two timer. We're gonna use that super tiny felt tip line, felt tip end, and we're gonna go right on the lash line. You're not gonna follow your wing or anything. You're just going to 
make your top lash line appear more thick by lightly taking the liquid liner and staying as close to your upper lash line as you possibly can. So hopefully the camera picks it up, but you guys can hopefully see like this lash line just looks a lot more dark than this one. So I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara. Um, and for mascara on the top and bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Ico Black Magic Mascara. I'm also gonna wear a pair of Ardell 110s if you have really long lashes naturally, then you can totally skip lashes, but I have extremely short lashes and false lashes just give me a look that mascara can't really give me. So now that I've got my lashes on, I'm going to start doing lips. Um, I'm going to line my lips with this pencil from Vincent Longo. It's in the shade Rosewood. I'm also just going to use my finger to kind of blend that out. Kendall had light nude lips, so I'm going to be using Hug Me by MAC. And then for a little bit of gloss, I'm going to use Spring Ball by Dior. Put it on the back of my hand like that, and then pick it up with my finger. There's a couple spots on my face that look a little bit more powdery than I want them to, so what I'm going to do is take a dry beauty blender and some MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to spray the Fix Plus directly onto the beauty blender, and I'm going to just lightly tap over the places that look a little bit powdery. Just because the Fix Plus is going to take away that powdery look. Also, a really great trick for really dry spots on your skin, if you have like dry patches, this helps a lot. All right, and then to finish off the face, the last step is going to be spraying Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist all over. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you liked this makeup tutorial and that you learned something cool, found a couple products that you're interested in trying. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave them down below, and I will, of course, get back to you. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will have all three down below for you guys as well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. Bye, guys.